Hello and welcome to Playboy magazine, March 1974. We have uh, Deborah Shelton on the cover here. Um, she was an actress. Um, she did many other things as well, but primarily an actress. Um, here we can see the little Playboy uh, bunny just here on the kind of garter suspender belt. Uh, nice looking front cover, quite a classic looking one. Um, got some topics on the front here, crime in the 40s, we've got sex in the 70s, Groucho Marx in his 80s, uh, Sean Connery in the future, Dan Greenberg in Mexico and The Big Nuke. Um, and we have uh, the French Martini just on the inside cover, uh, Seagram's Extra Dry, the front drive Subaru 74, uh, the GL Coupe. Um, we've got some Wrangler clothing there, the Playbill. Hope you've all been well. Um, don't forget to um, click the join button on the channel which you'll see now. Uh, next to subscribe, it gives you an option to join as a member for this channel, 10.9. Uh, it's $3 or £3.50 a month. I'm not sure what the dollar equivalent will be. Um, but the pound's not very strong at the moment, so it may be quite a good deal. This is the kind of the entry level membership to 10.9, something I'm uh, trialing, kind of experimenting with, just as I start building up to releasing the 10.9 magazine, which I've talked about before. So please join if you can, it will be appreciated. If you can't, no worries, just stick with the channel and look at the developments as I build things into it. So we'll head into the first few pages. We've got Minolta, we've got some Lark cigarettes. Uh, the Mazda RX-4, the first luxury car with rotary engine performance. Remember, you get um, huge power from rotary engines for the size, but they do wear in a particular way, and I think it can cause oil leaks and many other problems as well. And that includes the modern-day rotary engines. They are a bit of a pain from what I've heard. Grand Marnier Liqueur. We have the Deer Playboy section. Got Honda. Good things happen on a Honda. Some uh, letters coming in here. I don't think too much stood out for me as I read through these, but feel free to give that a pause and take a look for yourself. There might be some comments on some articles that you've read previously or something that you picked up on a previous magazine. Lots of feedback, interesting feedback as well comes through for uh, all the readers of Playboy. They do send in some good letters. Bell and Howe, uh, this is the TV that you can build on your own. Playboy After Hours. Um, we've got some books here. Again, nothing stood out too much for me. We've got some Puerto Rico rum. Jeep Wagoneer, the ultimate in four-wheel drive. Nice looking uh, poster there. Very American. Good piece of Americana. I do like these drawings. Big 360 V8 engine, power front disc brakes, uh, variable ratio power steering, automatic transmission, quadra track, um, and this is the four wheel drive system. Uh, good looking advert. 12 cartridges, 99 cents. Camel cigarettes. I guess probably one of the most recognizable brands, Camel, maybe apart from like Benson and Hedges and uh, perhaps Marlboro as well, particularly in the US. New Datsun B210, uh, economy champion. And here we have, um, I guess, of a class, this is one of those scam things, the lazy man's way to riches. You know, it gives a big explanation of how this person's successful, how they've made money, how you can do it too. It's the modern day influencer kind of scam that you see elsewhere, you know, subscribe to the service. In this case, you send off your money, you get your book, but they don't um, actually cash your check until 31 days. What, 31 days after you've actually got the book. So it's that classic thing where people don't like to get refunds or they make the refund very difficult, I guess, um, to get your money back. We've got uh, Scalona, we've got Austria, a little advertisement there for some travel, VW as well. Some more tapes and CDs. Got some recordings here. I'm just in the process of reading uh, Victor Loans' book, um, the day the bunny died, which is about how Victor Loans run the entertainment side of Playboy, the casinos, arranged the entertainment, how he made lots of money for Playboy. You know, we're talking tens of millions, and it would have been hundreds of millions perhaps if um, Hugh Hefner hadn't have fired him at quite an inopportune moment. We've got McGregor clothing here. Not sure how many of you are familiar with, sorry, just skipped a few pages there. Not sure how many of you are familiar with uh, Victor Loans, but he was the 
uh, let's say the entertainment side more than anything. And he, um, in particular, he trained the, the Playboy um, sort of uh, bunnies in London and elsewhere around the world as well. Uh, married to uh, Marilyn Cole, one of the most famous uh, playmates. Got the Playboy advisor. Says what here, while attending a wine tasting seminar, I overheard a local importer say that shipping by boat over a short period of time will age a wine two years. Is this true? It says shipping a wine by boat will affect the wine, but it won't age it by two years unless the voyage takes two years. Excess handling and higher than usual temperatures do tend to accelerate the aging process in wine. And we've got some more contraception from Shields. Some more booze here for you. Playboy Forum, Vantage Cigarettes, got some cricket disposable lighters. The Forum News Front, give this a little pause, lots of topics here. Got some Pioneer, Andy Warhol features in that advert. The Quadraphonic Music Service from Columbia House. Sexual behaviour in the 1970s continues. Part 6, Deviant Sexuality. A lot of people have come out of the closet, but not necessarily because it got too crowded. Motorola, in-car entertainment. And here's a little piece on uh, Alan Watts. Uh, when survival becomes a compulsion, it becomes a drag. Alan Watts observed in a letter to Playboy's editors. Paradoxically, lack of this compulsion gives a great zest to life. Last November... Um, Alan died in his sleep of a heart ailment. He was 58. He had published 24 books and innumerable articles, including six pieces for Playboy. His Wealth vs. Money won our 1968 Best Nonfiction Award. Better than any other author of our time, he was able to make Eastern ways of thought, particularly Zen, comprehensible to Western minds. Uh, Alan Watts is a great philosopher, great read, perfect to listen to on YouTube. Um, there's some excellent videos that people have put together of compilations of his philosophies, etc. Certainly worth anyone's time. Playboy interview Groucho Marx, a candid conversation with Minna Marx's third and funniest son. The um, you know the uh, conventional or very well known um, you know, the the glasses and the, the cigar and the moustache. Um, they know the Groucho brothers, many films, married a few times, um, uh, you know, great all round comedian, it seems, uh, worked with his daughters in various productions as well. So um, a good one to look at. I don't know much about him really, apart from the mainstream stuff that I've seen. I've never read any books on uh, Groucho Marx, etc. Got the Porsche 914 here. And Marlborough Country. TDK, we have the Canadian Club whiskey as well, uh, AMC Gremlin, I've got Doral as well, some more cigarettes, what sort of man reads Playboy, here is this gentleman taking a keen interest in some artworks there, the pretty man plan, his scheme was perfect, Crime Without Violence and Better Yet Without Penalty Fiction by Gerald Green. John Dempsey. Couldn't you find a more modern swimsuit? Only half of the crack of your ass is showing. Or ass for all the Americans. I say ass because I'm English. Um, the 300 Needles of Dr. Lau by Charles Fox. How a hopelessly outnumbered acupuncture force waged a desert battle against a medical army and won. We have the asylums he realised were filled with people who had misplaced their lives. Fiction by Thomas Baum, uh, Lost and Found. And then we have The Loving Touch, Tactile Pleasures for an All Over Turn On. So some uh, interesting photography here. Quite sensual, I guess, best way to describe it. Playboy's History of Organised Crime, Part 8. And we have um, some uh, more gory images there. 
I made a mistake in one of the previous issues. I'd referred to um, a certain Lansky, I think his name is, one of the mobsters, and I, I'd referred to him as being involved with something to do with JFK. I'd got confused because there's a book about Lansky, and um, it's actually about how he was the mastermind of hiding the criminal assets and funds of all the mobsters, and uh, apparently he had, when he passed away, there was rumors that he had left you know hundreds of millions of dollars to his children and scribbled the money away in various places all around the world but um worth looking at uh, the lansky um books um, certainly worth taking a look at if you go back through the mob series what the don's daughter-in-law uh, blown to bits in the godfather simonetta stefanelli still has it all very much together so have a nice pictorial with her here Lots of actresses and movie stars, even those that are already famous, coming to Playboy to feature in uh, various um, sort of states of undress. I've got to switch to another magazine here because this one is blank on this scan. So this is the next page. This starts with our Playmate here. Very nice um, looking Playmate as well. So some people think Miss March ought to be in pictures. She thinks so too. And with all those producers throwing scripts her way, who needs acting lessons? Uh, and so this is Pamela Zinza. So nice set of photos with her here. And of course, I'll show you the centerfold when we get to that particular section. Here she is dancing as well, playing a bit of pool. And I'll just show you the centerfold there. Interesting with the eye covered over. Something I haven't seen before. Hair is normally always kind of in proportion, but this is um, quite a striking centerfold. So we'll head back to the main magazine now. Playboy's party jokes. And we've got Eric Sokol. So you thought we were coming up here to drink some spirits, eh, Mr. Magruta? And then we've got, hey kids, how many big nukes can you spot in this picture? The Bomb Lives, article by E.L. Dr. O. Little Enos Pursues His Muse. This is Personality by Ed McClanahan. The Golden Madonna, fiction by Joyce Carol Oates. She looked much young younger than her years. Uh, girlish, unlined, shapely, seductive, but she was his aunt. Take Me to Havana by Bill Kilban, or Clybum, sorry. Robert L. Green, close-ups. Want to make certain you're not a fashion facsimile. Get down to details here with the bracelet, the pin badges and um, necklaces, etc. All about the detail in this particular feature. Edmund Caraz. Of course I'm all alone, dear. That's the man on the television who sneezed. I'm nibbling the lawn of the hospital of your father. Humour by Dan Greenberg. 14 answers to questions tourists often ask about Mexico, plus a handy, easy to read and impossible to use phrase book. Hair raising story. Uh, once there was a girl named Morgan whose long hair was the greatest hang down since Rapunzel. But one day she cried aha and ran to a man who offered her a shortcut to happiness. So a slightly different style here. Some people don't like the short hair on, on women. I have to say I, I don't particularly mind it. I think it can work quite well with um, a particular style. So some nice photos there. Uh, modern Living, Hold Everything. And Alberto Vargas there with his pin-up. Sorry, I can't rotate this one. Uh, it will be on my Twitter um, account if you want to head over there to take a look at this. Um, it's just at Playboy Review if you want to take a look. Zardoz, Eroticism and Mysticism meld in a scarifying vision of the world where 300 years hence... Sorry, eroticism and mysticism meld in a scarifying vision of the world 300 years hence. I read that slightly wrong before. Sean Connery here is Zed, priest of the deaf in the year 2293, 20, specially bred and trained to hunt, rape and kill in the service of his god Zardoz. So a uh, 
little pictorial here, some behind the scenes, some of the actresses who star alongside him. Got to Ericsson cartoon. Some Salem cigarettes. Some more little cartoons just here for you. Stop and give those a little look. Buck Brown, oh God, it's my husband again. Pushing their luck, maybe just here, this couple in the hospital. Pull it again, Sam, during the golden age of slot machines, a nickel was a small price to pay for a chance at the jackpot and the nickels add added up. So all the various slot machines, I think they're worth quite a lot of money now, you know, those old um, proper cast iron big slot machines the really mechanical ones, insanely engineered, I mean, spectacularly designed. And you see them on some of those shows where they refurbish the, those slot machines and they rebuild them from scratch. Uh, if gas pains persist, try Volkswagen. So in this era, I'm not too sure of the current status of issues in, in the US, but obviously there's a fuel shortage or fuel problems at this point in the 70s. So um, this car manufacturers capitalizing on their efficiency i guess of their cars so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the videos if you enjoy them it does help me uh, and obviously if you would like to really uh, help the channel you can join you can uh, become a, a first level member which is about three pound fifty per month and um, that's the first level there will be other levels as i start uh, bringing in more things for you to look at um, so it won't be too long um, but this is just a beginning level and you can change in council at any time it is a rolling service but if you would like to um, support the channel it'd be much appreciated much appreciated uh, Charles Grodin uh, the Canadian actor here Nolan Bushnell King Pong and Thomas McGuane angling man Uh, there's a lot of good between Winston. We've got some Harley Davidson FX 1200 Free Spirit, the Great American Freedom Machine. Jack Daniels there. Some uh, Playboy interview continuation just there if you want the last part of it. Playboy Pop Puree. People, places, objects, and events of interest or amusement. Uh, Smilby cartoon there. A foxy solution to the gas problem. Again, this is the Fox by Audi. Some Kent cigarettes, Interlandy. Another cartoon, Dink Siegel. Some Bacardi there, Wii Magazine, Canada at its best, Canadian Mist, another cartoon by Folks, you are too late Sir Roger, I've already been corrupted by the big city, Shimano Gears there, I think they're based in New York, yeah based in New York, um, Shimano is the household name for bike parts i think in even today so a long running company uh some information on playboy here playboy towers playboy club key holders are well taken care of especially in the windy city where chicago spectacular playboy center offers accommodations in the playboy towers a choice of restaurants and bars and indoor uh, shopping street uh, and the glamour of the chicago playboy club all under one roof you know it sounds good i'm just again i'm just digging into the history of um the Playboy clubs and uh, who ran them, etc. Uh, a really interesting history uh, that is to be found there if you look at who was running it and the complications that they had and the kind of bribery that happened to Playboy when they were trying to get licenses for their venues for the liquor, particularly in New York. And Playboy had to, um, and Hugh Hefner, and they took the uh, one of the governors, I, I think, essentially to court um, by reporting them to a higher 
um, government agency because of the corruption that was happening. They were paying like $50,000 for uh, a liquor license. So it's worth looking into if you haven't already. Here you can see some bits for uh, next month, Jane Fonda and Tom Hayden in the Playboy interview. Um, we've got the Chicken Farm, Larry L. King, Herbert Gold returns, Roald Dahl, the great the great uh, switcheroo. Wife swapping can be complicated, especially when your wife doesn't know she's being swapped. A very modern story. And if you remember, Roald Dahl is the famous children's author. Um, Dewar's profile is just on the back here, and we've got some Rayleigh cigarettes. That's it for this issue. Um, let's say don't forget to subscribe and like and join if you are feeling particularly generous and would like to help out the channel. It is a, a big thing to do, and I appreciate it if you do join. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week, and see you in a few days for um, April 1974.